More than 20,000 people have been infected with the Ebola virus in three most affected areas in Sierra Leone, Liberia and Guinea. The 7979 text line launched last month is aimed at raising the much-needed funds to support the AU's anti-Ebola mission in these countries. The AU says it does not have the exact figures of the money contributed but is happy with the response from the African public so far. The African Union has been um, very satisfied with the response from the African uh, business sector, especially the telecommunications uh, sector, which has come together to launch this SMS campaign. We have a number of countries who are participating, but also a lot of networks um, that are taking part in this campaign. So overall, I would say that we are really looking forward to starting to see um, the benefits of that campaign. Fundraising is aimed at stopping the spread of the disease on the continent, but the AU also wants to see money raised to build its infectious disease control center. The um, SMS campaign, as I have mentioned in the beginning, is part of a broader campaign to raise resources. And those resources will go not just to stopping Ebola, but also to support the health systems of the affected countries, but also to try and make sure that Africa does not again suffer from this kind of epidemic. And this is where we are talking about the establishment of the African Center for Disease Control. Since the outbreak, the Africa-led Ebola response scheme has been implemented in the affected countries. It now has more than 600 volunteer health workers in Guinea, Liberia and Sierra Leone that are changing the tide. The volunteers are really professional and they are doing a great job. For example, uh, I can tell you that uh, in, Mal in Liberia, they are uh, just uh, managing a NETU. They are working, working with the Cuban um, medical doctors to take care of uh, 100 uh, uh, bed of ETU. And they are also doing a great job in strengthening health systems. It is true that the continental effort of fighting the spread of Ebola is yielding fruits, but it is too early to declare the battle has been won. Africa needs much more support from the international community for it to come out of the woods. Grumtala CCTV Addis Ababa, Ethiopia.